My name is Dr. Rosenblum. I'm an interventional pain physician. Today I'm going to perform PRP injections on my patient who's suffering from chronic sacroiliac joint pain, as well as a gluteal bursitis and inflammation of the tendons inserting into the greater trochanter. This patient has greater trochanteric bursitis as well, and uh, a labral tear in addition. Um, if we have enough PRP, we'll do as much as we can, but we're gonna start off with these sacroiliac joints bilateral. Increased depth. I usually start by finding the PSIS, which is right here, the posterior superior iliac spine, which is the hyperlucency, most obvious in the center of the screen. That's a bone shadow. It's hyperechoic bone with a shadow behind it. As I scan medially, you'll see the sacrum. And the joint is fairly long. It runs longitudinally. And I just need to get my needle past that bone shadow and into the joint. I'm just looking for the ideal location right now, just scanning. And it's the same trajectory as we have with our usual fluoroscopic guided approach. Okay, this is the spot, right? This is where it hurts. Okay, a little pinch right here. Okay, this is the numbing. Sorry. Low pressure, okay? Capture image. The needle's coming in from the left side, going down to the joint and passing the bone. And just angle it a bit, a little better to get deeper into the bone, I know. Sorry. There we go. And I'm popping into the joint. I feel it. Okay, dear. Does it feel like I'm in the area of your pain? This is where your pain comes from. So I'm gonna aspirate, which is not really necessary with PRP because you might get blood and it looks just like your PRP, so it's probably not gonna help you very much, but it's a habit I have. And I'm gonna inject. I'm injecting the region and it's normal trigger pain. I'm actually gonna move the needle a little bit, different areas to get, that's it. And I just popped into the joint a little better. And I'm injecting right now into her joint. And that went very smooth, and needle's coming out. What one can do is one can actually give more anesthesia outside the joint, which I could do for her, because I see she's suffering quite a bit. Here we see a sacral foramen. The bone is disappearing as I scan up and down. You see that right there? So I could just anesthetize lateral to that region to give her some more anesthesia. Pinch. And get down towards the bone right there. You can see it spread. Capture image. Now we're going to find the posterior superior iliac spine on the contralateral side. Okay, found it right here. This is the PSIS. And the joint is behind the hyperlucency. I'm going to anesthetize her again. Now I'm using a different needle with an extension to get into the joint space. You see the needles coming in, I'm just lowering my angle a bit. The needles popping into the SI joint right now. And aspirate and inject. Moving the needle to a different part of the joint. There we go. Here we can see the needle coming down. And we just popped into the joint. And it's going in nice and smooth. I know it's going to hurt. It's normal. Okay. Now, lastly, we're going to give the PRP by her greater trochanteric bursa where the tendons insert. And hopefully this will alleviate her symptoms. Greater trochanteric bursa is right here. So, and it's hurting her as I put pressure on it. Sorry, Bernice. And moving posterior, you can see the tendons as well inserting onto the bursa. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to come from a posterior approach to land on the bursa. A little pinch bearings. There we go. You see the needle coming in? Mm 
You might feel pain in a second. Capture image. Capture image. Capture video. Okay. We landed on the bursa. And we're going to give some of the PRP into the bursa as well as the tendons above it. Almost done. It's going in right around the bursa, as well as the surrounding tendons. Done. This was a, a PRP injection. Unfortunately, it was painful for the patient because you can't mix the local anesthetic with the platelet-rich plasma. I anesthetized the skin. However, you don't want the local to mix with it deeper down. She's had relief from PRP in the past, and hopefully this will give her the same results in the future. Thank you.